Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find any sewer today. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I know a lot of you have been asking me to do some quarter hunts. I just wanted to confess that I do do quarter hunts every week. Two boxes a week, about on average. I never find a single silver quarter. I think I have found one out of 35. So when I say two boxes a week, when I do get them, I try to get two boxes. Typically, I'll go two boxes for three or four straight weeks, get nothing, and then lay off them for like two or three weeks. And I searched four boxes in the month of August and got nothing. And I probably searched another couple hundred dollars in loose rolls. Absolutely nothing. So I decided to do something I don't normally do. Instead of getting full boxes, I went to five banks. I got two Wells Fargo's that gave me, uh, one gave me 400. That's what they had in their loose rolls. And I got another uh, 250. So that was 650. And then I went to three chases and I got 100 each. And then I realized I was 50 short. So the very next day, I grabbed 50 more dollars from a Chase Bank. So now we are sitting right at $1,000 in quarters. Now, most of this box, or at least two thirds of it, is cusser wrapped, but we do have two rows of machine wrapped at the bottom. And then I put all these, this style of Loomis rolls from one bank in here, plus some other rolls from another bank. So basically, we've got like three and a half banks in this box and a couple of banks in this box. So we're gonna kick it off with the cusser wrap, see if I can score some lucky silver. And as always, I'll loop in along the way. But if I don't find anything, I'm still gonna post this quarter hunt regardless, no matter how short it is, which is probably why I'm talking too much. Um, just so that you guys know I do quarter hunts. Let's go find some silver. <laughs> we're on cusser wrap number two, guys. And uh, I just found myself, it's a 2005P. Minnesota, and there are, I believe, 12 different types of double dies. Reverse on this, where there is actually a extra tree on the fourth tree. Now, I'll show you what I'm looking at in the picture. Now, I've studied all the pictures, and there's different varying ones. They're all worth about the same, but the double die 12 has one, two, three spots specifically that look just like that. Fetches about $8 an extra fine. I'm gonna put my quarter under the microscope. Look at that. Even the shape of that middle one specifically. We got it. So, man, not exactly a great find. And I don't, I would say this is extra fine. I don't think it's about uncirculated. It's got a nice scratch in front of his nose, as you can see right there. But I think we just found ourselves the 2005P Minnesota double die reverse number 12. I'll be two by two in that. And we're on the board with a find. Unbelievable. It's not silver, but it's actually worth more than silver. Let's go find some more. Roll number 16 of the custom wrapped. It was one of those container ones. And we got a nickel. And it's not even an old one. You can tell by the edge. Seventy-nine. What a waste. Lost twenty cents. That uh, first box of quarters is hunted, guys. We looked at uh, 2,000 quarters. There's the discards. Kind of bittersweet, no silver in the first box, so we keep the streak alive of not finding silver. I did pull out this cool tone coin. It's really weird, it's clad layer. It's like it's been polished down to the clad layer, just about. It's a little different, so I pulled it aside. And then of course, we did find a 2005P Minnesota double dyed coin on the back. Fourth tree, we have the double die 12. So, or the double reverse 12, I should say. So that's pretty cool. That's my first one. I've actually been looking for this for years, as well as the high and low leaf Wisconsin air. 
but uh, we'll take it. So it's it's bittersweet because I got no silver, but I'm happy to find that uh, double reverse, and I'm happy to find this uh, polished clad showing coin. It's just something different. All right, now that we've got those out of the way, can Loomis come through for me on a silver quarter? You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Well, <clears throat> we finished that box of quarters. Two boxes of quarters, I should say. And uh, no silver. So no silver stacking today. You guys saw the finds. The best find of the two boxes came in the second roll of the first box. 2005 P DDR12. That's where it has the uh, remnants of a fourth tree right there. It's DDR number 12, probably about an $8 coin. That made it kind of worth it. And then the other two finds was uh, this really odd rimmed quarter where you could see the copper sticking out. And then I always choose the best 82 or 83 because they're hard to find in uh, high grade. This is not going to be better than a AU type at the most, but it might upgrade the best 82 I have found. So... That's it, man. Sad hunt. This is why I don't normally do a lot of quarters, but you guys were asking for it, and I have to be cognizant of that, and I will search, and I do search them. I just never post, and it's because I don't normally find anything. At least we found a variety coin to put in here as part of the hunt, which was good. It did make it somewhat worth it. I'll tell you, $500 and quarters times two $1,000 would get me two half dollar boxes. It would get me a dollar coin box. It would get me four dime boxes. And when you think about the time it took to hunt these, to re-roll them, deposit them in the bank, and to do all that, that's why I don't hunt them very often. That being said, I'll never give up on quarters, especially when we get into the fourth quarter of this year, which is the next month. So I'll keep searching them, but I'm not gonna post videos where I don't find anything. Just know that I am actively looking. At the end of the day, we did find a cool coin. Hopefully you enjoyed the video with not a lot of finds. If you did, I'd still appreciate a thumbs up or at least a thumbs up for the effort. <laughs> and as always, everyone, thanks for watching and happy hunting.